How you doing? This is Jared Gilbert of the Dapper Den in Ridgefield, Connecticut, and today we have Wayne Adesi. All right, Wayne, so what are we thinking today with your hair? Well, you know, I'd like to get a nice clean cut. You know, it has a tendency to grow heavy in the back, so I want you to just clean it up all around, nice and even like you have done in the past. And uh, So, mohawk on the top. Mohawk on the mohawk. top, and I want a tattoo over here, too. Yeah, I got that hand. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the clippers. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use a clip on the sides. I'm gonna do probably about a five on the sides and then do a light little taper and just shear the top a little bit. There's not, you know, a whole lot going on. <laughs> no offense, Thank Wayne. <laughs> but we're gonna clean up those sides nice, you know. Right. Wayne is also a fellow business owner in Ridgefield where we have the barber shop. He just, uh, we just celebrated our three year anniversary and Wayne is on his 70th. 70th. Family business, three generations. Right. Right downtown on Main Street. Great jeweler. And a great neighbor. Jerry. Yes. So as you see, I'm just starting from the bottom up to the crown area with the five. He probably doesn't want to see scalp. So we're gonna keep it at this level and then what I'm gonna do is a light little taper around the bottom. Scissor down the top a little bit and line it up. Now we're just going all the way around. It would be like a regular fade where we're starting a uh, top fade line but there really is no top fade line. We're just going with the shape of his head in the back here and on the sides, and that will automatically fade in. So it's the same techniques as a, uh, you know, thicker hair. Okay, so now that I've gone around all the way with my five, gonna make sure I got these areas that I need to get. I'm actually gonna take my two clip now. So I'm gonna be taking my magic clip with the two. And I see the way the hair is splitting back here. That's the way Wayne's hair grows. It's got a calic here, a calic here, and it kind of splits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take down all this to a two and give it a nice two taper and then shear into that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the sideburns. So when he has that grow out, it's, it's not gonna poof out and hang over, you know? So he'll have a nice grow out and then, you know, in between if he wanted to, he could come in and we could clean up the neckline. You know, a lot of people don't talk about, you know, the in-between stages. Some people just get a haircut and um, wait a couple of months. I know you're about every month well, or something like that. Six weeks I mean, you're a busy man, yeah, so. Right. Um, and you're busy man. Yeah, it's hard to get in now. Yeah, that's right. So, um, what, what, what I'm saying is sometimes we do have clients that come in uh, in between. James spoke about how long do you wait in between haircuts. Um, every client is different. Sometimes if you are um, a businessman where you're seeing your clients all the time, I recommend that you come to your local barber shop, the Dapper Den, and you get a cleanup which would just be around the neck and the ears and stuff like that. So it doesn't grow over and hang over your neck. I know when you wear a collared shirt, it's growing all down your back. You don't want to do that, you know? So it's not a full haircut. It's just a cut in between. So that might be something good for, you know, people to look into. I mean, as well, if he's not, he's not a bearded person, um, but if he was bearded, you know, to continuously clean up around the ears and blend into the beard instead of, if you want to come over here, see how the hairs are all hanging out over? And it's all crazy. This would be clean. Even if I didn't cut his hair and I went and I cleaned the sideburn and I went around and I cleaned the back, he would feel like a million bucks and he would look like a million bucks. So that's a nice little way to keep your hair in between haircuts clean. You know, a lot of people, they have long hair 
and uh, they don't maintain it. They don't. They think that it's just long. I don't want to do anything. Right. You know, if you if you do a nice shape up, especially if you have long hair and a beard, and you keep yeah. the lines clean. It's always it's about a, the lines. It's a great idea. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I got my three clip, and I'm just gonna be pretty much grazing around the bottom here. Because if I remember correctly, I did the five and the two taper. So what this is gonna do is it's just gonna cut all those little hairs. So when I scissor through real quick, nothing's gonna be overhanging. So what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna line it up. We're gonna clean off his neck and we're gonna blow all the hair off and then we're gonna scissor. While you're doing this, you just want to go around, make sure if you see anything on the ears, in the ears, you're taking care of that, because those are the pain in the butt spots that all of our partners and everything notices first. That's another thing. Manscaping. Yeah. Doesn't have to necessarily be crazy areas. The ears, the neck, you know, um, the eyebrows sometimes grow out of hand. You know, I'm not saying you need pencil thin eyebrows, you just might need a little cleaning. And all these touches make you feel like a million bucks. Yes, they do. Now, you know, we've been doing a lot of different videos lately. Um, Wayne's watched a couple. They're, they're you know, different drastic beard, um, videos where the guys come in and they got long beards and we transform everything but you know what there's a lot of customers out there like you just like me that don't have a beard right. but their products are still perfect for the hair the, the positive feature with their products is that everything that's in the product itself is listed on their website um, so if you have any allergic reactions to certain things it also tells you um, what each ingredient does for your hair. The positive feature about this is that it's not just a product, it's also like a vitamin for your hair to okay. keep your hair healthy. <clears throat> I can use that. For sure. <laughs> I think we all can use that. It's Vitamins funny. or it's healthy funny. hair? My hair seems like uh, it's gotten whiter. Uh, no, I don't know if you've noticed know. since I'm back from Mexico, uh, yeah. Yeah. my beard just went full on white. Is that right? I don't know if that's stress from the family or. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. You know? There you go. So it's rest of, what causes white hair? Do we know that? Good question. Um, yeah, I so, might have to Google that one. We'll have to find that one. Pause, and okay. we'll get back to you on that. You know? pigment. Lack of pigment? Lack hair of, pigment. Lack of hair there pigment. you go. Okay. George is here again. I, I don't know if you noticed the last video George was in. He's never here. He's, <laughs> now he's in every video. I don't know if you guys know, Yeah. but in my other job, I'm a police officer. He's also a police so officer. So. And my truant <laughs> officer, or what, what? What is it? Not the truant officer. Probation. 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 Yes. <laughs> He's you my probation that. officer. Right. We are in good hands right here. Yeah. We yeah. usually have a closed set, but um, we had such great clientele that we can continue doing it um, and talk about the product and whatnot. And you know what? Um, closed sets have pros and cons, but you know what? I, I kind of like the reality of this. Yeah, We're exactly. really talking about That's the product. Right. We're <clears throat> talking about the barbershop. We're talking about life. It's not just... How about know, the personality, though? Yeah, yeah. Jared, it's the personality... I, it's, I did it's, not tell you to speak yet, Wayne. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> tough crowd. It's tough. The personality, yeah, it's we all both. about... The product is the product, okay? It's a great product. But the personality behind it is what makes the difference. Right, you know? right. And uh, sitting in this chair, it's a great relaxing environment. Love it. You know? Thank Love you. Love being here with you guys. And that's a big part of it, too. So yeah. I'm not going crazy over here. I'm just cleaning off these little extra hairs that he's got. Just to clean it up. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you put your drink your right here. You got it. And I'm going to blow the hair off. So okay. Nice and clean before we go to the next step. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really quickly profile around just so it's nice and clean. I'm going to go back over all this with um, my razor as well. Just going to graze across the ears here. 
make sure I get all those little ear hairs that we were talking about. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Cleaning up a little. I, I like to, everybody does it differently. You know, I mean, you've probably been to barbers that do things totally different. I mean, I'm not the barber. This is the full service. Yeah, actually a funny story behind this. Wayne's family actually owns the building where we have the barber shop and they've owned um, real estate in town for a long time. So, I don't know, did you, the, the former, any of the former barbers, did you ever come to their barber oh, sure. shops? Yeah. Sure, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. every, I mean, I'm probably, I think I'm like I the fifth say, or sixth. Fourth generation, maybe? No, I think more, if I'm not mistaken. As far as what's here, oh, well, at least Yeah, four. we got, a, I can think of oh man, we got Armando, we got Otto, we got Bill, we got Mariana, we got, uh, uh, I forgot the other lady. Five. So maybe six? Six, okay. six, seven, six. something like that? Yeah. So they definitely cut differently than me. Yeah. Right. You know? So everybody, like I'm saying, everybody has their own techniques. Um, you know, as long as the client is happy, I mean, right. this is not really something he wants to do by himself. I mean, I've seen people... Uh, you know, just buzz the hair when they're at a certain level, at, at an even level. Listen, there is a difference between you doing it in your bathroom and a professional doing it. You know, it's going to have a definite better grow out. Right now, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be wetting it a little bit. And that grow out that I'm talking about is, it's not just a clipper. I'm going to be hitting it real quick with the shears. It's going to be taking those dead ends off and it's also going to be texturizing it. The taper that I did back here is very light blend. Okay, we keep going back and forth uh, with all the people on the internet, what a fade is, what a blend is, this and that. Anything from one level to another, I call a fade. Okay, you can, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know what, what makes the difference between a fade to you a uh, high fade, a low fade, I understand, but what is a fade? What numbers, what length, you know? Let's hear some uh, comments about that. This will also even out all those little calic areas that we were talking about before. Now he has a lot of salt and pepper right here in this area. So in other videos, we spoke about this. Sometimes it plays tricks, you know. Um, I personally think this is falling fantastically. Hopefully the camera, TJ's camera is good enough where it will actually show the quality of the fall of the hair there and the blend. Um, you know, that spikage that we have over here on the side is going to disappear because we're going to be texturizing this. And that's also going to help grow out like we were talking about. The fantastic thing about hair is it's a, an affordable, a real affordable way to feel better about yourself, to look better, you know. And the product as well. The product comes into play, you know. I mean, you could just walk out of the house, have a great haircut, but hair is all over the place, you know. I noticed on the top of my head, as it gets longer, it just it's constantly up in the air. It's frizzy. My yes. daughter's always like matting it down. So right. So this this will this help it. Here will help keep it in place sub substantially, yeah. and it'll bring the proper nutrients back into it as well. So we need to just keep taking that down. Top. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm pretty much cutting. We, well, bit. yeah, you got you got about that, <laughs> say about three inches, a something like that. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm grazing through, cutting about a quarter of an inch off evenly around. Okay. And then we're just going to keep that and that feathers into this. You really don't want to take. Sometimes people do. Sometimes people will ball this out. Yeah, right. I don't know if I personally like that look. Right, right, right. Um, you know, sometimes people will go down to a lower level here, so it kind of just spikes up. It, it's preference, right. you know, it is preference. What do you we, think? Um, I, I think it's good to go. Okay. Um, with it being light and darker on the sides, it gives it a nice contrast. Okay. You pull it off very well. We've done another video where uh, the gentleman, he was younger and he wanted to see before it really went, okay. how it would look. 
Um, that video came out fantastic. You know, a lot of people were interested so in that. So he shaved it off? Is that what you're saying? We, we ended up shaving it off. He had a beard, great beard lineup and everything. Um, I personally like the look of uh, a, a person with the contrast. So like myself, when I shave and I have a heavy beard, right. you're the opposite. Um, I think I think this is fine. I mean, if you're okay with the cards you're dealt, yeah, you yeah. play the hand that you're dealt, right, it is right. what it is. Yeah. I would love to have a little something to kick over like you got, right, right, right. you know? Yeah. Everybody's on different levels. Sure. Uh, I work with what I have, and, and I know when I cut hair, I kind of try to do that for the customer too. Yeah. I work with what they have. If they have yeah. a calic in a I certain like, area. I like what you did because you can see all the whiteness all around. Right. So as much as there is a little bit on top and there's right. more on the sides, it's still kind of it, there, even. There's contrast. I still feel like I have hair all around. Right. There is contrast, but it's it's more leveled and right. even around now. Now it's interesting. Why are the eyebrows black? Who has an answer for that? <laughs> These are questions <laughs> that uh, we might need to uh, check back with you That's on. Right. So I'm just gonna be grazing over this area here with my comb. Obviously, he doesn't want craziness over the, the eyebrows, but there's a couple of hairs that stick out. And I personally think it, it, it makes the whole difference of the haircut when you do the nose hairs, when you do the eyebrow hairs, when you get rid of all these little areas. I don't wanna call it an imperfection. It's not an imperfection. It's life, it's the way things grow. It's a beauty mark. But uh, yeah, you know, maintenance is maintenance. I'm just gonna clean off all these little hairs back here one more time. I'm gonna hit that area with a razor. Then we're gonna clean off his neck and we're gonna be using the product. Now I like to go, you know, nice inch underneath the collar. I mean, some people, they just clean up a little bit and they leave the hair. That drives me nuts. I like it to be all the way down so none of these hairs are ruining what we just did. We're trying to have a clean, nice area. If you got one or two little, you know, sprouting out, I don't like that look. A little drying this one more time. I'm just lightly rubbing a little shaving gel around, uh, a wound, around rain. Hello, let's yeah. do that again. Lightly rubbing shaving gel around Wayne's neckline. Got it. And I'm just gonna be cleaning up what I just did with my liner, just to give it that real clean line. Okay, so. We're going to be using four vices today. Nice smell. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. And we're not going to be using a lot of product. There, there doesn't really have to be that much use of this product. I'm warming it up in my hands. I'm getting the top area where William was talking about his daughter is always ending up, you know, pushing down. Right. And I'm just following his head the way the hair naturally ladies. Very nice. It, Love the smell of the product. Yeah, it's That's not, great. it's very mm -hmm. natural yeah. feeling. So, I mean, right now, it's clean. Yep. As the camera could see, everything is falling in place. Now, it's gonna pay, it's gonna play tricks on you right here um, because of the, the salt and pepper, but that's nice. This all falls into place, it would be a great grow out. Good. Okay. Good. Perfect. Feel like a million bucks. Okay. Dapper Dent, Richfield, Connecticut. You want simplicity? Grab the Styling Balm. It's designed for your hair and your beard. It will give a sand finish with a medium hold. No, it's not a conditioning product. It's a styling product. Styling Balm over at beardbrand.com.